There was an old uh, immigrant in our neighborhood who one night as a 10-year-old pointed to a star in the sky and he said, Jerry, do you see that star? And I said, yes, Mike, I do see it. He says, remember this, it's better to be in that star for one day than never get there at all. So the advice I give young people is shoot for that star. Don't be afraid to fail. That's what life is all about. All that matters is who's standing last. You will only learn from the mistakes you make, not from the wins you, you acquire. I, I would just say to the uh, you know, fortunate kid out there, find what it is you love and then go and do that. As cliche as it is, um, I, I, I was lucky enough, I, I love wrestling. I love competition, I, mean, I love MMA, so it's easy. It's not easy for me, but it's easy for me to fully embrace it. If you do something you don't love, you're not gonna be able to fully embrace it. If you don't fully embrace it, you won't be able to have wild success with it. Well, I like to say this, I think everybody's an entrepreneur. It's naturally inherent inside the DNA. Like, you know, where I live at the Biltmore, <laughs> these two little kids, boy and a girl, every Saturday, they're out there with their lemonade stand, you know, all these walkers and joggers are going by, they're selling lemonade. <laughs> I sit there, look at them and go, good kids, you know? But a lot of people talk about trust in God and belief in God and all this stuff. If you're, a, if you're an entrepreneur, you better live it. You know, you better have a spirit that's so strong. You cannot let other people's opinions and criticisms. At that point, he started to learn he says, I learned a lot from my last business. Let me take what I learned from my last business and put it into this business. You're in a working classroom. So I treated my professional experience at my first brewery as just that, as a classroom. And I learned everything I could. I asked all the questions. I asked to be in charge of you know, uh, pro uh, procuring goods, inventory control, um, ordering materials. I, and I insisted on taking on more and more responsibilities so that I could learn and so I could learn how to do that and how to actually run a business at somebody else's expense and let them pay me to do it. Um, it was just a wonderful opportunity and um, I think that some of the some of the most well-run businesses are run by people that have taken advantage of opportunities in their youth. My encouragement would be to, to everybody to consider uh, going into business for themselves, whether they have a special set of circumstances that uh, may uh, uh, nudge them in that direction or whether it's always been a dream. It's, uh, it's, a good, it's a good life. Again, a lot of bumps in the road and uh, uh, challenges, a lot of sacrifices, but the, uh, the payoff is uh, uh, financial independence uh, for yourself and for your family, and that's the that's the gift of entrepreneurship. Love it. School can teach you about business, but if you don't have that drive, if you don't have that 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 burn inside of you, you know you can't put it to good use. And you know, just like you told me earlier before we got started, gentleman talking about he came from nothing, he was ready to go back to nothing. All of this started in an 800 square foot house. We was able to seat 20 people at a time and I never gave up. You come prepared to a, a, a place of business, present yourself well, well groomed and clean. And you know, you just ask for an opportunity to display your skills. It's all about starting at the bottom. open the direction from anybody. We opened this diner, I've been in this business, I've got several degrees in this field, I've had how much experience, I still made a bunch of mistakes. But if I would have listened a little bit different, I could have made some small changes, and very minor changes. Like in our diner, our floors, I had somebody tell me, don't go with these floors, and I said, oh, I want to stay true to the 50s. Well, I regret these floors, we're, we're polishing them and spending all this money on them all the time. That's just a little thing, but there's a lot of things that if you just take the direction from somebody that's been there before, you're going to set yourself up for success much better. The 
ones that succeed are the ones that you know. If you know something unique about an industry, either you, you have an education, you have experience, you have enthusiasm for that boutique area of a business, there's a good chance there's a market. Because there's, there's maybe, some, if you can see it, there may be somebody who's not doing it or not doing it well, or you could even do it better. So, first of all, look at yourself. What do you like? Look around what you, what you already know. That's probably going to be your first place to find great ideas. And then obviously all the others are the aging of America, the adoption of the internet, things like that. I think there's, you know, uh, export, import. I think there's lots of areas. But first start with what you know. If you know it and love it, you're going to have a damn good chance figuring out a market for it. I think people view security in large companies and I view insecurity in large companies and I view it because there's well you're in the political world you're an elected official there's politics involved in any office there's uh, other people involved and so I think that there's a lot of security in in betting on myself I think Arizona's got so much potential we have so much untapped um, potential here that I think it's just mind-boggling. And so I think we're going to see a tremendous amount of growth and we have the room to do it. Um, I think that we're going to see um, new businesses that will continue to come to Arizona. I think that the political climate, of course, is critical. And I think when we see leadership like yourself, um, you know, in positions where they're thinking outside the box and they're trying to truly be creative. And when you've got everybody working toward one common goal, which is to make our state the greatest state, then it'll come true. If you're interested in starting a business, go to the Arizona Corporation Commission website at azcc.gov. Click on Corporations and begin filling out the forms for the name of your corporation, LLC, or partnership. Follow the instructions for all the required documents, and best of luck in your entrepreneurial endeavors.